When I go on one of our spiritual retreat cruises, you know if you've been with me, I love to get guides in the various towns and countries that we go to. Otherwise, we might miss something. And it is a joy to see the wonder through someone else's eyes so that you can capture it in yourself. Well, in an ordinary day, or any day, the first thing that's most important is to have God as our guide. It says in Psalms 48, verse 14, God will be our guide forever. The minute we turn to God to be our guide, we open ourselves up in a receptivity to be guided. The Christ Spirit will guide you and show you the ways that are right and good. If you're taking a tour of a city or a country that is not familiar to you, you appreciate the services of a tour guide that can help you to uh, it can help you to see things as I've said that you would never see ordinarily. A competent guide can make a big difference in our enjoyment of our tour. Well, in our personal life, we may sometimes feel as though we're walking in an unfamiliar territory. I had a lady tell me the other day that she just started a new job and it seems so strange to her. And then she remembered to pray for God to be the guide. And God guided her to people and places and situations, learning events, where she was soon able to master it quicker than she could have on her own. We can know that a very personal guide of God is always with us to help us, to show us the way. If we're confused, God will clarify our own thoughts, give us understanding, and give us the light that we need on our path. If we're unsure of the right path to take, God will show us the way that is right and is good. If we lack confidence, and so often we do as a human being, well, God will illumine and inspire us and give us the courage. If we need guidance, if we need right direction, we can depend on our never-failing guide. God is with us and within us to take us where we need to go so we don't miss the really good things of life.